postal worker from Chelmsford, or certainly from Essex, it's Chelmsford where she works. A wonderful, wonderful player. And uh, 60. former winner of this, but uh, wanting to add one more title to those she's already taken. Yeah, it's important that Rachel gets off to a good start and doesn't let uh, Dita get out of the blocks too fast. Otherwise, 81. yeah, it could be uh, all over pretty quickly. Always looks extremely composed to me. And uh, 60. hardly flinches. No. A dark destroyer, and my, my, she has destroyed a few in her time. I don't know, count, countless titles. Oh, unbelievable, Dita. Yes, Rachel. I agree. I Eight know one. exactly what she was thinking there. <laughs> Funny I can read a woman's mind sometimes. Just by the look, the expression. You notice uh, Dita's darts very uh, springy when they go in the board. It's the... Uh, 100. Very thin points that she uses made of uh, very highly sprung steel. Um, if you look at them close up, you think they'd snap, but uh, she seems to like them. She changed them about, I don't know, must be about a year ago now, but uh, I've not tried them myself. Rachel with more conventional points, a little bit of grip on them, and obviously no wavering. Just, just the wavering Seven. from the uh, 20 by the looks of it. Just seven there from Rachel, and she's got to somehow pick herself up from that. The thing about Dita is, there she's gone in five, but in the main, she tends to go down the line. And even when she's not hitting the treble 20, 66. she's generally scoring 60. Uh, the odd one will stray. Maybe she gets the odd 85, 81. Uh, and that wasn't the best of examples, although she did hit a treble 20. But that high action of, her, of hers uh, does help. And... Um, now it's it's Rachel who's who's finding that trouble 60. 20 sector but uh, generally that's the consistency part of uh, Dita Hedman's game yeah so 180 from a little lad it could be one I from Dita can count to 180 <laughs> 99 There's downstairs there 99 setting up the finish nicely Rachel needs to settle down she's uh, as you can see she takes her time um, that I'm not sure if it's off-putting for Dita. It's just she knows Rachel's game inside and out. It might even be more off-putting to Rachel herself sometimes. Yeah. Well, having scored 62. seven a couple of moments Dita ago, you've got to give her credit for that last start because it must have been still in her mind that yeah. she could put in a repeat visit. So determination on Dita, though, isn't it? It's 78. Yeah. Yes, I was commentating on uh, Dita when she won the Women's Desert Classic. It, it lasted for a couple of three years, uh, back in 2005, six. Uh, she beat Caroline Bars, the American, in the final. And that title is one that's often forgotten, you know, but uh, it, was, uh, it was worth the winning. Double 19, Game straight in, no messing. Absolutely, Alan, straight in, no messing. You want double 19, do you go six double 16, or do you tend to go straight for it? Well, I'm pretty poor on the 16, so I'll go straight for it. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, not me. Yeah. Oh, Rachel's struggling again from the off. She really needs to settle down here. I think Nerves is playing a big part here. She's uh, taken out some good players 41. on the way today. Uh, close call with... Uh, Fallon Sharrick, another one of the up-and-coming stars on the BDO ladies' side. Uh, should be appearing at Lakeside in the, in the new year for sure. Well, to get to a semi-final of a British 100. Open, you've got to have played well along the way. No doubt you have to ride your luck here and there. But uh, she has to lift her game particularly when she's up against uh, one of the all-time greats. This is better darts. Yes, yeah, settling, perhaps. Settling. And it's not too late. She lost that first leg against the throw. Still time, perhaps, for her to 
put matters straight. She can't afford to lose with her throw because it's only the 100. first to five. Dita Stark will get into her stride. A little bit quicker on the throw there from Dita. And Rachel, very methodical again. Best of nine legs. And Hedman one up 68 with throw yeah i think it's nerves is playing a part here with uh, with rachel All right she's played at lakeside in january um she's been on many stages on the tour um but you know it's a great hour we've just been down there in the last two games it's a great atmosphere down 81. there it's uh, something a little bit different a little bit special for her on a, in her own county as well so yeah, and seeing those television cameras again on the stage and around uh, all adds to the pressure and to add to the fact you're playing probably the best woman player of all time <laughs> yes that's right she's not bad 100. is she Dad, although you could say trina gulliver was well you've got trina gulliver <laughs> you go back in time to the great players from the past and uh, past winners of this i mean the great maureen flowers uh, back in the early days this is the 81. 39th staging of the no the, it, i think this is the 34th staging of this particular event uh, it started the women's off oh, for the women's yeah the women's british open started uh, five years later than the men's so i think the first one was 1980 and uh, so this would be our 35th in fact and um, 60. Did former you winners, one of the great morning flowers linda batten won it a couple of times in those early days Sharon Coltluff a great player uh, in her time 99 so Rachel, you require big finish here for Rachel she needs a 1-3-2 she should be starting on the bullseye yes I think she ought really to go for the midley diddly as we call it and that's the first it. one remarkable another one of those and she'll be oh unlucky she'd have wanted double 16. 74. Well, DT requires she's got to be happy with that because she is on a finish if Dita allows her to have a pop at it that's a bit wayward but knowing Dita she'll pop this in oh Game oh, Saturday. no mess in last Dita start. Edmund. Just when Rachel might have been thinking, I'll have a go Sunday, after Dita all. Two, Dita. Dita. Game on. Now at the semi-final stages, of course. Well, she's on throw again, back in that triple. Starting off the leg nicely. 62. And then pulls one into the one again. <laughs> I'll talk to her about that later. <laughs> yes. One hundred. Yeah. She needs to get settled down. Get these tons going. That's a mother in the audience just looking on. Thought it was a great granny. <laughs> One hundred. Ah, great last start, and that's an example of what I was talking about. All in that trend, all in that treble twenty sector, and uh, all in that twenty sector, I should think. One going in the treble. Yeah, she's relentlessly down the line, Dita. That's a tight, unlucky. She should get this one though. Forty-one. So two legs to nil up and a 21 lead plus these. She's got the throw. Again pulling into the one. 81. It's looking pretty comfortable for Dieter at this stage. Rachel's not pushing her too much. There's Brian Dawson. We've just seen him. Back of him. He's had a good run. I believe losing out to Martin Adams in the end in one of the earlier rounds or later earlier no, rounds um i think 44. it was um the last 16. oh yes so uh, so missed out on a chance of being on this stage then yes was uh, but i think he, he might have just got the points in for the lakeside he's he's right on the borderline to qualify for his first time another great yorkshire 66. player yeah, dita stro strolling ahead here now 
Rachel really needs to hit ton ton plus here. Just falling short of that triple 20 again. Yes, Dieter Hedman never won a world championship yet, but uh, runner up in 2012 again earlier this year. And uh, surely her career won't end without such a title, the grandest title of all. One engine and four. Cracking darts, she leaves herself 52. Now, the competition now is such in the women's game that. Uh, any one of a uh, number of players can win it. That wasn't always the case. We always had three or four. I'd rather think now there are seven or eight at least who could play 41. genuinely. DT required 52. Yeah, the, the women's game is uh, certainly up to its level. Um, and now they've opened up to 16 players at, at the lakeside. So it's much more open, and, and as you say, there's, there's seven or eight of them. Games they're all more the than third capable. Leg. Dieter uh, strolling in this one, quite comfortable Fourth now. Leg, yep, that's a third leg on the trot, and uh, now throwing for to save not the match quite yet, but to certainly give herself a chance of getting back. It's imperative that Rachel wins this leg. That's not a bad start, though, for the Yorkshire lass. One oh, oh, oh gets better in back. There was even a look of surprise and maybe a touch of glee on her face as she went to retrieve them. I think it was almost a case of, there you go, you can do it. Dieter's answering this one. 100. Just a ton, but there's a good reply. Keeping the pressure on Rachel. Takes the time. You know, Dieter won the Women's World Masters uh, as long ago as 1994. She actually retired from the game for a time, didn't 41. she? She came back. Uh, she, won the world, uh, she won the World Masters in 2013, 19 years later, and uh, certainly stood the test of time. Yes, that, that's, that's probably one of the craziest 96. records in the darts, isn't it? I mean, it's 19 years in between winning the World Masters. I think she puts a lot of it down to her, uh, we call him the bag carrier, Paul James. He, he <laughs> yes. travels about with Dita, looks after her, makes sure she's uh, in the right place at the right time. Good darts here from Rachel. 95. Yeah, just pull that one over slightly into the treble five, but... Uh, not a disastrous visit by any means. Uh, by far the most competitive leg so far from uh, Rachel. 100. Many tons. <laughs> Great darts, those. Great darts from a master player. 20 ahead now, Dieter, but Rachel not out of this leg. Very much in it. Just got to keep that focus and consistency. Down the line darts, that's it. Drop one in the treble. Oh, that's the problem. A little bit of a snatch there going into the great last start. So she's she's on a finish. Maybe we'll see some fireworks with the 144. She doesn't go away, does she, Dita? <laughs> this is the problem. This is what you're up against. Uh, model of consistency. Yeah. Rachel, you require 144. Four last start. Flinches at the thought of that going in trouble. One, but uh, 144 now for the last from Yorkshire. Two. Yeah, one, two, four, kidder. One, two, four. Now 64 left. Where are you going to go? Treble 16. I think she's going down the line. Stay 100. In there. Can't blame DT her. DT require 122. She'd have left herself on double two had it gone in, of course. DT looking at 18s here. Oh, what a first start. Another one 18 of those. for ball. Oh, Ooh. did that deflect or was it a poor dart either way it means that Rachel will be back for 44 Rachel you require 44 to get herself back in the match single four for double 20 top she needs Games great the dart the finishing Rachel better than the, than the started at the Fifth moment so she's off the best. mark yeah Game that on. was a good leg for her she played very very well indeed held herself together even when Dieter threatened
60 back in the match. But she's proved that she ain't done with yet. No, uh, Dita giving her a chance here if Rachel can get off. And, and Good first start. You can only take it one leg in a time. Exactly. At a time. You can't win two legs in one visit in one leg. No, you? no. You just got to take it one at a time and hope that she can maintain it. Some funny folk in that audience. I think, I think that's uh, Mr. Williams, was it not? The. Uh... <laughs> I was, of course, referring to the. One hundred and forty. <laughs> Great dance from Peter again. So consistent, like I say, just in that. That 50 pence piece area around the 20, the triple yes. 20. Yes. Land them on a sixpence, but there aren't many people who know what a sixpence is. It's before my time. Mm. 60. <laughs> so Dita looking to back the 140 up. Straight in. She picks herself up so well, though. She throws a disappointing dart, and you can almost see or sense the mental thought that goes into the next one. Concentration. Reassessing. Yeah, she doesn't look away. She doesn't let it phase her. She just focuses and carries 43. on. Readjusting. Yeah. And, um, I think you see a lot of people, they have a loose dart, they drop their head, they don't concentrate. You've seen it with Rachel a few times here. We see from now, this picture here, when I'm talking about the high action, she's a tall 100. person anyway. And then that arm comes up in front of that uh, beautiful face of hers and down the line darts. Always it's such, such a deliberate action for yes, Peter, it is. yeah. it is. Good busy. Good you require one hundred and twenty. a couple of good visits in this one. Yes. He's throwing them hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, one hundred and twenty for Dita Hedman means that now she needs uh, eighty. Sixty. So she'll be back to try and take out sixty for a four-one lead. And uh, Rachel Brooks will have it all to do if she hasn't already got it all to do. 60. DT requires 60. Dita, 20 tops. Doesn't usually go much wrong here for Dita. It's a lovely marker as well for her. Games from yeah, the fifth leg. Quality. Absolute quality. And uh, now 4-1 to Dita, to Dita Hedman. Looking on. likely to move into the final of the Women's British Open here in Bridlington. We have uh, another semi-final to follow this, and that's going to be some game. Lorraine wins Stanley against Anastasia Dobromyslova. And uh, it looks as though if Anastasia were to win that, we'd have a repeat of uh, one or two finals that uh, Dieter and Anastasia have fought out recently. Great darts here again from Dieter. You can see by the averages there how, how consistent she is down the line. 91 average for the first nine darts, 86 overall. Yeah. It's a, a big margin, big margin compared to Rachel. Well, 19 points. We were talking about 19 years between winning the World Masters. Uh, Dieter, 125. But, uh, a big difference in the average. Huge. Uh, but uh, Rachel putting together a decent score there. Giving herself a chance of winning this with the throw, but look at this from Hedmond. Super darts from deep. 140. <laughs> Unlucky. Thought we were going to get the first 180 there in the match. But it's just adding pressure. Pressure all the time from Dieter. I think Rachel will be back tending the sheep later tonight. <laughs> 60. I think this is Dita. She's taking the throw now. Let's see if she can set up a finish. Grouping. Good grouping. 41. And the last one in the single one. So 180 plays 216. Now, this is, this is a very important visit, this, for Rachel Brooks. If she could put a score in here, she has a chance 
to win this leg. So, 60, 60 scored. Maybe not enough. It's Needed a ton, I would have thought, Alan. Yeah, definitely a bigger score there. Dita looking to set this one up comfortably. She's in that area all the time, isn't she? One hundred. Yes. Uh, it it must be frustrating for her opponents. I mean, she rarely strays. Once she gets into the game, into the meat of the game, so to speak, which is where we are now, this is very little. One hundred. So, good Last time. Time. She She's kept uh, this leg very much alive. So, eighty for Dita Hedman to win this. Oh, it's a great first start. Double ten. She wants for a place in the final. Double five to go into the final of the Women's British yes. Open. Oh. Super oh. stuff from Dita Hedman. Dita she has made it into the final. And Rachel Brooks, credit to her, she dug in, but never really in with a serious chance against a Dita Hedman bang on form. Well, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Well, the there are the stats, Rachel and uh, Alan, and you your mentioned final. earlier, Dita's nine-dart average Dita of 91, Hedman. but her overall average of 87 is 